Senator Blumenthal uh, displayed some documents received. They were heavily redacted. I think probably from McKinsey. I've got some from McKinsey as well. Uh, I'll first start with you. Who made those redactions? Sorry, I didn't know if you were asking me, Senator. Um, but we did not make those redactions. Uh, we've been working with the PIF to reduce those redactions. Those redactions were done by the, by the PIF. Okay. Uh, Mr. Lesser, if you provided documents, were there any redactions in them? Yes, we did provide documents, and yes, there were redactions. I believe we may have redacted some personally sensitive information like names, but all the other redactions, to the best of my understanding, uh, came from, from the PIF, not from BCG. Okay. Mr. Klein. Thank did you. Did you supply documents or were redacted? Uh, Senator, thank you. The sole redactions that we provided were cell phone numbers. So no, no other redactions made by the PIF? No, any redactions made on any document that was delivered would have been made by the PIF or other members of their review process. Uh, our firm submitted documents that were complete with the exception of personal cell phone numbers. Okay. Uh, Mr. Keery. Senator, no redactions provided by Tineo, and I believe no redactions in the documents provided by, directly by the PIF. Okay. Uh, I guess the only other point I want to make is uh, I'm actually heartened by the fact that the chairman, uh, other Democrat colleagues are talking about how important it is to, to comply with congressional oversight and provide documents either under subpoena, I would say just under uh, you know, requests. I think the chairman mentioned twice it was staggering that we don't have full compliance in it. Pretty unprecedented situation here. I know Senator Hassan said that uh, not getting this information would set a very dangerous precedent. So again, I'm, I'm heartened by the fact that my Democrat colleagues are taking oversight and the committee's uh, constitutional authority to demand these documents. Uh, personally, I think it's even more staggering and even more dangerous precedent that our own federal health agencies uh, again, refused to turn over the last 50 pages of Dr. Fauci's emails. Those are heavily redacted. And uh, you know, we just can't get the analysis the, of, of their own VAER system. So, again, I, I know I'm you know, making the point again, but we, we really do need to uh, step up the plate, demand that those uh, uh, documents are provided to us. And if they don't do it uh, with a strongly worded letter, I hope we follow up with a strongly <laughs> enforced subpoena. Thank you, Mr.